Danny, it is the holiday season. You know what that means. I don't, tell me. It's time to shop. It's time to shop for all of the geeks in your life. And we have just a vast array of things to choose from. Yeah. Yeah. There's stuff from uh, FYE, mm -hmm. Entertainment Earth, Think Geek, Lego. Yup. What else is there? Funko, Hallmark, Paramount, Merchoid. We we got all our bases covered. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Yeah. So let's uh, dig in. You want to see what's on my side over here? Yeah. You got a lot. Yeah. Okay. All right. So da 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 da. Bow wow. Lego uh, Voltron. Just oh, a very giant. Cool. So here's here's my only position on this. Mm -hmm. Like. I like the giant robot guy, and yeah. it's great. This is amazing. But uh, they also come, but there's like all these lions and stuff. Honestly, why don't they let the lions win more? Just not even need the robot guy. Oh, that's I think really it great. every time. Anyway, he's very cool. It's he's huge. a Lego. Uh, and then there's also, um, wow, I'm going to go all the way over here to get Do this it. because actually this is just so live, big. Live on the edge. Um, I will. This is Star Wars business right here. Look at the very Star Wars cool. Lego. Um, you got Rose Tico in there. Yeah. Uh, you got your. Uh, oh, is, I don't. Is that supposed to? Oh, that's IG88. Why is oh. IG88 there? I don't know why. I love him. He's actually my my favorite from the. Got a little Tie Fighter up there. It's pretty fun. Yeah. Oh, like I just like a robot that murders people because they can. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got a. You know what? Here, while we're on the Star Wars tip. Bounce this way, and then we'll yeah. bounce back. Check check this out right here, though. Okay, I'm checking. <gasps> This is a decanter. A stormtrooper decanter. Uh, what I really appreciate is that on this side there's a brown, and oh. on this side it's clear. So it should, you could yeah. you suggest do you want you know I want to put like a whiskey in there a or, whiskey or a vodka. vodka. You could do whatever you want. Yeah. Either way, you're getting drunk off yeah. the stormtroopers. And then hold on here. This is one last Star Wars do piece. Do it. Um, afterwards, after you're drunk, you mm -hmm. have R2-D2 make you some coffee. Next morning, you're That's like, it. Oh, or, R2. Or like, oh no, I forgot that I'm on the job. Yeah. Gotta correct this very quickly. Where are you I'm drinking? sober right now, I promise. Mom, I swear. Anyway, It's not else? your mom that you'd have to do some explaining to uh, if you were drunk at work. I don't know. I always default to, I'm sorry, Mom. That probably <laughs> says something about me. And here we have uh, some Hallmark stuff for Star Wars 2. There's a lot of Star Wars stuff in my side. I don't know if you realize that yet. I know. Um, so this right here is, uh, it's like a blind box for, for Christmas. Uh, could be any kind of BB-8 if you check around here. It could, could be red or gold or blue. blue. A lot of possibilities. It says, yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, the red is the least likely one. That's the one you really Wait, want. really? How do you know? It says it right there. Look on the back. It says one in five. That's, Why? That's, I listen, that's I don't make the rules. And then here's C-3PO. He's a keepsake. I don't know what defines a keepsake, but for my sake, I'm going to keep him. That's what it is, I think. Got it. And also, yeah. Uh, check out this. <gasps> you got I'm all the Star Wars I'm stuff, gonna, huh? Yeah, I was actually going to stand up and show the whole thing. Here we go. Whoa, it's big and beautiful. I'll help. Look at this. Oh, all I want for Christmas is R2. Same. I know, same. that's very cute. If I could all just, bundled up. If I just had an R2-D2, but for real, I would genuinely yes. give up everything that I've ever had in history. You'd also just be Just to have most... that. I would be alone on the streets with R2 and fine. All right, I'm gonna transition out of Star Wars for a moment. I hope mm -hmm. you'll forgive me. I forgive. Thank you. Uh, I've got this Harry Potter throw blanket from FYE. Ooh. Um, this is uh, for when you're doing magic, but also it's Ooh. Yeah, you want to be under the covers while you're casting your spells. And each little quadrant of the blanket corresponds to a house. Yeah, I like that. So um, you can kind of cuddle with the one yeah, you identify so like, with. Yeah, like uh, Gryffindor and uh, yeah. uh, Slytherin and and then uh, these other two. One of them is my house, which is very cold. The heating's not great, and that's why I have this blanket. Oh, that's very smart. Yeah, okay. So I have some Harry Potter stuff over here. What? I know. So this is from Funko. It is a Harry Potter advent calendar, which is really just an excuse to open a little window and get a toy every day. Yeah. Technically, to you're wait, counting do you think down. Is it toy or is this, is this a toy situation? Yeah, toy there's things. little toy guys in there. Okay. Sometimes it's chocolate. This one is not chocolate. This one is tiny little Harry Potter toys. Yeah. You got Hermione, you got Ron, you got Dumbledore, you got all the heavy hitters, you got Hagrid. Everybody's in here so you can count down to the birth of a lord. Doesn't have to be one, could be anybody, could be the Dark Lord. Wow. With Harry Potter, yeah. Then uh, there's a bunch more Funkos here. So I got a Die Hard Funko. It's oh, yeah. John McClane. Yeah. Christmas movie. It is. I don't know if you've it ever is. heard that case be made before, but Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Talk to 
literally any man between the ages of 25 and 50, and they will go hard for Ex the fact. Except for Bruce Willis. Except for Bruce it. Willis. Because I feel like it's for his brand. He doesn't want to be in a Christmas movie. Then we also have SpongeBob SquarePants here. I'll pause so that you guys can cut, but I do want to talk for a minute about the fact that SpongeBob as a Funko is horrifying. He looks exactly <laughs> like the friggin' bassist from Limp Bizkit, Wes Borland, <laughs> who, I mean, he has those like color, those contacts, right? Also from Funko, we have down here. Oh, this is a special one? Right? Yeah, The Fugitive Predator. It's a collaboration with FYE. Um, it's very cool, very scary. And he's actually, I believe he's completely silver, which is kind of like a cool little unusual move for Funko. Usually they're very brightly colored. Yeah, but... I really like that one. Yeah. You know what would make me like it even more? Is what? if that predator like came to life and brought me a blanket. Oh yeah, that yeah. would be sweet. Hey, um, I'm wearing something right now. I need to show it to you I, because it's warm and wonderful. Let's discuss it, yeah. I'm going to stand up on this because I'm very small and show you that on the front, Beautiful. it's like a, like a regular green robe with mm -hmm. pickles on it. Stunning. And in case you didn't get it, uh, on the back it says... Pickle Rick. <clears throat> Pickle Rick. Nice. Oh, you're good, yeah. Yeah, I'm I wasn't not as good so at it. good, yeah. This is beautiful. This is smoking jacket-ish loungewear kind of. Elevated men's loungewear. I'm very confident. What else is here? Oh, let's get out of here with your eye holes. Yeah. That's it, some cereal. Listen to that. Oh, I do love There the are eye holes in there, but don't eat them because if you do, then that eye hole guy will come yeah. get you. You will pass. You also have down. Oh, I saw is it that falling and I Rick chose and... to let it go. You're welcome. It's a pickle Rick ornament. I like that guy. He yeah. Looks, he looks like you can put him on your finger too. Yes, he does. Yeah. yeah. He I don't looks think like you could... actually can, but I now I'm no. going to dream of it nightly. He looks like he could be a finger puppet. Yeah. I like him. Speaking of that, check out this Trivial Pursuit for horror fans. <gasps> Do, would you be any good at this? Tell I would the, be the so unbelievably bad at this. So you would just be on a team with me and ask me yes. to do the whole thing? I'm very, I, I don't want to toot my own horn. I'm very good at Trivial Pursuit horror movies. Any specialized Trivial Pursuit is so, very hard. Uh, hey, did you want to put something on your monitor? Yeah. Pull out your old CRT and put this Twin Peaks uh, sign right here. Cool. That's it, welcome to Twin Peaks. Oh, I love that. Uh, things will probably be very Twin safe Peaks? there. Only safe things happen in Twin Peaks. It's true. All right, Jackie, you want to mm -hmm. look at some stuff that you could put on your pen? I do. All right, good. Uh, hey, this is your, are you friends with this guy? Lin-Manuel? Yeah, you guys buds? No. Oh, I, he's everybody's friend. That's the wrong answer. Well, we would be friends if we'd ever met. We've just never met. Yeah, you've met him on Twitter, though. Oh, he's on Twitter, true. and he's everybody's friend there. Yeah. Truly, he is everybody's friend. He's a delight. And now he can be on your pen. Oh, okay. I have something that you can eat, that you should eat. Okay. That would be delicious to eat. A bunch of Reptar bars. <sighs> Look, I know. I'm trying not to knock everything over, but they're so cool. They're Thanks. Reptar from Rugrats. Take them. Bye. I've got more. See ya. Reptar Come on back. ice specifically turns your tongue ice blue. Oh, Chocolate I... that turns your tongue blue. Sounds healthy. Yes, and the instructions on the back are tear open, chomp, roar like Reptar. So you have to, roar. you can actually hang on to I was going to take it back. Okay, but... I'm going to keep it. Yeah, why not? Um, and then we'll roar when There's the also over. large Whoa. reptar bars. Kind of like. Great. They kind of remind me of like the Easter Bunny packaging. I wonder if they would just re repurpose the mold. I mean, as a middle-aged man, eating that much chocolate sounds like a great idea. I know. Oof. I would mm. be laid up for a few days. I would still do it. I can't even lie. Oop, oop. They're falling. You can do it too. Help me, Rhonda. Okay. And. You did it. A reptar Christmas ornament. Rugrats are back. Yeah, it's the 90s all over again. And he's got his own Reptar bar. Yeah. How cute. I love it. Oh, okay. I'll put him back and I'm going to I'm going to take you over here. I'm going to take you back in time courtesy of Paramount. We have the Indiana Jones complete collection Blu-ray set. So, we have got Raiders. We've got Temple of Doom. We got The Last Crusade and we got Kingdom of the Crystal Skull plus all kinds of cool inserts, DVD extras. It's the first time that they've all been on Blu-ray. Fun I, fact. Yeah. Oh, actually, I own this. You have this? Yeah, I have that very item. So I'll tell you what, uh, I can recommend it. I got you this. Oh, uh, I mean, I'll just watch it again. No, it's fine. I'll figure it out. Well, maybe, can I interest you in a Transformers five movie box set? The answer is yes. Yeah. All right, so it's all five movies collected into one edition, again, DVD extras are a real delight. You can't get director's commentary from Netflix, no. and it can't sit on your shelf beautifully in this 
silver packaging. Oops. Be careful with breathe. the Transformers. They're fragile. I know. Well, if I drop it, it'll become a VHS. Transform. <laughs> That's how they work, right? You drop them. I know. Over here, mm -hmm. a beautiful. Please. Beautiful collection. Lift it up. Lift that I, thing I, up I will. to the heavens. A collection of action figures. Kiss action figures from Entertainment Earth. Paul Stanley, Peter Chris, Ace Freely, Gene Simmons, Kiss. I mean, how fun. They were practically dolls as people. They were very toyish men. Wow. They are. I, I don't know if I've ever actually heard uh, the Knights in Satan service be referred to yeah. as toyish men. Yeah. All I right. mean, they're campy. It's like they're begging to be. Their their brand is begging to be made into action figures. And and to have um, uh, like coffins and stuff too. I mean, what else do you want? Um, There's so much here. I mean, I want all of these things. If you could have one, what would you take? Um, What's I think I would one? actually take my Batman sweater. Oh. Uh, my Batman Christmas sweater. Check it out. I faked you out. You thought we were done. Yeah. But yeah, it's a Batman sweater in the style of like a Christmas sweater from days past kind of situation. It's very warm, I can vouch for it. I've been wearing it this whole time. And it's a cool way to like have your holiday pride. Snowflakes on the arm, Batman in the sheets. <laughs> I was trying to do it like, mm hmm So think about it, you know? I will, I'll think very hard. Okay. Well, all right, so you can get all these things from well, pretty much everywhere. There's yeah. Lego and uh, FYE, Entertainment Earth, Bank Geek, Bungo. Hallmark, yeah, Merchoid, uh, Paramount. Paramount. There you go, I think we've covered yeah. it. Are you so. ready? I feel like the fire we started before we began this video is probably ready to go. You wanna go take a seat, maybe get a hot chocolate? Yeah, I love fire. Yeah, fireplace. Merry Christmas. Okay, Merry Christmas.